Hey guys, so I have a video for you today on um, drugstore eyeliner comparisons and I just want to start by saying I'm really upset because I had the Revlon um, Color Stay liquid eyeliner and I don't know where it is and it really sucks because I wanted to add this into this video. I have though five here, oops I want to keep them in a certain order, okay, I've got five here um, that I can, you know, review for you and compare. Um, I'm just really bummed that I don't have them. But anyway, so we'll start off with this. This is the In Color Fabuliner. It's by Jordana, I do believe. Yeah. So it looks like this. And this, I used this for years. It's a, like a felt tip liner type deal. I use these for years. I've had so many of these. I couldn't even imagine and they're nice because they're $1.99 at Walgreens and here's the swatch from that one so you can see it is quite quite black it's right here um, I know one of my friends uses it and it fades on her really bad I don't remember ever having that much problem with it fading at all but I guess on some people um, this could fade but still this is great I love this I loved it for years again here's the swatch sorry if it's blurry um, so it is quite black, um, and I really, I do really like this eyeliner. The next is, I feel like, everyone's favorite, and that's the uh, L'Oreal, I don't know if you call it Linear Intense or Liner Intense, either way, looks like this, open it up, looks like this. And here's the swatch right here, so you can see that it's quite black, it is very black, um, this probably would be my favorite liner. I prefer more of these felt tip ones. I don't know why. Maybe just because I'm not used to these yet. But this would be my favorite liner. If it wasn't for the fact that when it gets on my lashes, when I put my mascara on, it's like, it like if, it, if you get any on your eyelashes, it, it makes them like hard and crunchy. And I can't really, you know, work with my mascara. It's the only complaint I have about this the only one and my eyelashes are always in the way because they naturally have a curl and it always gets on there and then my mascara looks like crap so if it wasn't for that this would be my absolute favorite eyeliner ever and I'm really bummed about it but what can you do so this is an awesome liner I love this this doesn't chip or crack on me and peel which is my problem with my next eyeliner this doesn't do that it is very black I love this eyeliner this would be my favorite if it wasn't for that one problem it's a bum deal. So my next one, bringing us right to that, is the NYC Liquid Eyeliner, which looks like this. It's got this really long, skinny wand. Uh, it because this cracks. Like the second I put it on, just a few seconds later, once it starts driving, drying even a little, it cracks and peels and comes right off, and I hate it. Here's the swatch, and it is really wicked black, which is awesome. But it, you can even see it on my skin. Well, I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the video, but it it's cracked. It is cracked. Definitely. I don't know if you can, you can't really see it. My, it's blurry because my camera doesn't do the whole focus thing, but um, yeah, cracks and peels right off and that's upsetting. <laughs> um, this next eyeliner I can't stand whatsoever. It's the L'Oreal Voluminous Eyeliner and it's the black one looks like this looks like a marker and this is awful here's the swatch that's I mean I put a few like a few few coats on like I can I can try to do more I don't know you guys can really see like I'm really coating that on and look at that oh, I wish it wasn't so blurry that is awful this is just this is just bad sorry L'Oreal I love your you know like voluminous mascara and all but your eyeliner is sucky and it just it's not dark and when you go over it again it just takes the color right off I don't know if you can see right in the middle of that where it looks kinda like there's you know not as much stuff there that's what happens when you just go over it it's just it's just bad let's see I don't know I don't know how to explain it so it looks all streaky and liney and it's just bad so that one's just a that one's just a no-go in my book and then the last one is my uh, NYX Super Skinny Eye Marker. 
Um, if you've seen any video I've ever done, you guys know this is my absolute favorite. Looks like this. They have the large one too, the jumbo one, but I don't, I don't have that one yet. I need to get another one because mine's kind of old. Oops. Well, it's not old. It's not old at all. I just use it a lot and it's like almost empty. Here's a swatch. You can see it's very, definitely very black. And um, unlike the other one, when you go over it, let's see go over it doesn't do what that other one was doing I'm sorry I can't see what I'm doing like that <laughs> I don't think I was really even doing anything to it but this one just goes on nice and black I absolutely love it and it stays on I don't have a problem with fading doesn't chip or any of that and it's black it's not gray it's you know not charcoal it's black so this is my favorite um, I know people don't really consider NYX a drugstore but I wanted to put it in there um, so yeah that's my favorite definitely definitely I will rebuy that forever and always unless I can somehow find one that I like better which I doubt um, and the Revlon one too the Revlon color today the little one looks like a little tiny inkwell thing I really like that one definitely I have a review on it somewhere but um, I definitely like that one too. That's a good one. That's black and it. I don't have a problem with that chipping or um, anything like that. So that's a great one too. So I hope this was helpful and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.